And for more on this story, Sohrab Ar Amari uh, joins me now from London. He's an editorial writer at the Wall Street Journal. Thank you very much for your time. Now, why do you think mm -hmm. Rouhani and Erdogan are meeting today, especially since the OIC summit in Istanbul yesterday criticised Iran for supporting terrorism and its foreign policy? Uh, well, look, uh, Iran and, and Turkey are both uh, important powers in the Middle East, and um, uh, as much as, uh, as you indicated, they have uh, big disagreements over the issue of Syria, over Russia's role in the region, uh, over Iran's support for uh, Bashar Assad. Um, uh, in his regime, uh, nonetheless, uh, they have to they have to cooperate in all sorts of practical ways, and especially, I think, uh, on the on the economic issue is where are the issues that you'll see at the forefront uh, of this dialogue, uh, because if the West has allowed Iran to come 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 out from the cold, um, and uh, the Iranians will look to trade with Turkey as an important platform for launching back into the global economy after years of uh, of economic isolation. Um, so I think that's the, the real um, uh, the, the real important issue here. And if you're going to describe it as a rapprochement, I think it's best described as a, a tactical rapprochement between uh, between Turkey and Iran uh, on economic matters, some regional cooperation. But I think the fundamental disagreement between the two sides will not, is not going to be resolved uh, from this meeting in this meeting between Mr. Erdogan and Mr. Rouhani. Uh, this visit, though, has come at an interesting time. I mean, Turkey has gotten closer and closer to Saudi Arabia, Iran's arch rival in the region. It seems like perhaps, given what's happened in the OIC at the end of it yesterday, that Saudi in some ways has won. How is Turkey going to manage and balance these two relationships? Well, this is this is Turkey's great challenge. Uh, I mean, obviously, the the uh, AKP uh, government came in with this philosophy of of zero problems, as Prime, Prime Minister um, Davutoglu famously put it. Um, and yet now Ankara finds itself in a situation where uh, it really it, it has many problems and few real friends in the region. Um, you know, obviously, there's the confrontation with Russia. Uh, there's a the confrontation with Iran and and its. Uh, allies in Syria and Hezbollah um, in Lebanon. Uh, a, and, and then there's been a, a coldness with the West as well, because Turkey uh, early on uh, drew away from it, from Israel and, and, some, and the US in some ways in pursuing an Eastern policy. So this all comes at a moment when, when Turkey has to uh, uh, tread a pragmatic path. Um, uh, with with uh, with Iran, because at the end of the day, um, nations uh, act according to their interests. So, as much as I think, uh, in his ideological view of the region, um, Mr. Erdogan still aligns with the Sunni Arab powers, who I think, by the way, have the have the are are morally right in this situation because Russia is the aggressor. The Assad regime is butchering its own people, and and Turkey, in a lot of ways, has tried to be. Uh, 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 confronting them uh, on that front, but the re the regional reality is such that the the U.S. is pulling away and has not shown a commitment um, to standing by its allies, especially Turkey, in some ways. So Turkey has to navigate both at the same time. It has to um, tighten its alliances with the Sunni world, but it has to deal with the Iranians in various ways because otherwise the escalation uh, will lead to more confrontation and a potentially very dangerous scenario. Mm, okay, and I guess given the fact that Turkey and Iran are both two very big and influential countries sharing a border, uh, a relationship is necessary. Thank you very much for that. Sohab Amari in London there.